Hello, my name is James Musselwhite, a portrait photographer from Portsmouth in the UK and pointer and shooter behind the project of Portrait of a Wrestler and welcome you to this, our latest video, looking back at the shoot with the wild boar, Mike Hitchman, that we had in 2014. A boar came to us as part of the project, brought a load of really interesting gimmicks, lots of different things and styles, I'm going to have a look at some of the images now. Uh, the first thing that you'll see here is quite obviously a, a kind of Predator style mask. I've never seen the film Predator, uh, I've got a bit of a blind spot for some 80s movies movies and I'm obsessively obsessive about other 80s movies. Uh, Predator's one of my blind spots but I did instantly recognise it. And just a simple shot here, gotta use it, put it on his face, get those eyes peeking out, catch lights in both eyes and staring straight into the camera, nice symmetrical look there. You'll see the guy, the, uh, Mike's quite hunched, he's a hairy guy, he's long hair, beard, really intense look and I think just even this mask I felt didn't help because he's such an intense character himself so I wanted to use it early on get that done and then move on to sort of other shots in the shoot again different one here where we're sort of bringing in the hands to sort of increase the intensity lights too high on this one can't see any detail in the eyes um, goes in straight into the reject pile that one and then just having it over the heart on the left hand side simple look straight into the camera Cross light coming, um, light coming across from 45 degrees up here down uh, onto Mike and just making sure that we're doing something with those hands as well. A fist in the lower hand down here and then a simple hand up here where we can sort of see all the fingers on the hand sort of bringing that across there. Now we're moving into the intense look. I don't mind the fact there's no catch lights in the eyes on this one because I want him to look intense. I want him to look slightly um, unnerving. And just having him lean forward into the camera, brought the head down, brought him out of contact with the, with the light there to sort of get correct catch lights. But it's sort of a really nice intense shot. Hair all over the face there. I don't mind that. We're uh, working with that just to get that nice sort of rough, rugged look really. And then there he is showing off those teeth, showing off that intensity again, lifting that head up. And then we brought the dry ice into the picture, uh, taking them away from the camera slightly. Two lights set up, one light on the left hand side here coming across the subject and a hair light there. Not really making the most of the hair light in terms of lighting up the hair and the shoulders, but certainly lighting up the dry ice to give us um, a slightly different effect there. And then back into the intensity, really bought the hair over the face, used a little spray bottle that you'll get sort of like for most cleaning products or whatever, empty it, clean it out and then just fill it with water and you can use it in, in shoots just to give you that sort of sheening look sometimes just to give you those little sort of water droplets across the image. And then having him intense, looking off camera this time, profile shot, profile pain of the face, letting the hair come down, seeing all the little water droplets sort of here onto the hair just coming off there every little inch of detail caught and then the smoke machine going off in the background just to give us that sort of dry ice effect there maybe would have worked a bit better with negative a bit more negative space on this one on the left hand side maybe and then we've gone super close in here really made the most of that detail in this shot if we go in super close here look at the detail on every strain every strand of hair every drop of water captured there with that sort of backlighting Really intense look and feel and texture to that image. Really love that shot. And then just getting him to look up into the light and again capturing all of that detail there. And then we've got him to sort of turn in towards the camera on this shot. A little flick of the hair. It's giving us movement even though we're using sort of fairly fast flashes in studio. Really, really, really fast movement on the, on the flashes. Still creates a certain element of movement. You have to really sort of invest in in top end flashes to really freeze that movement of tens of thousands of seconds but I kind of like that feel I kind of like the intensity I like the feel that it gives the picture really looking into camera showing off those teeth showing off that texture showing off that tone and it's this image here this one that would make it through to the final panel of work so we're going to pop Mike in there next to Little Legs and Jordan Next week we're going to be taking a break uh, from the fellowship panel which we're nearly completed now, only a few more names gone there but some quite big names we've got a feature uh, for this project. But next week we're going to be going back to Progress Super Strong Style 16 and we're going to be choosing uh, to view the whole match 
uh, through the GoPro footage that was filmed atop uh, my camera and we're either going to be looking at the hardcore match between Jimmy Havoc and Joey Janela including the promo at the end featuring the aerial assassin Will Ospreay or we're going to be looking at uh, Walter versus Travis Bangs for the Progress World Championship. Going to leave it up to you to decide which one uh, we're going to film and which one we're going to upload for you with sort of like GoPro footage from the top of the camera as we're shooting at ringside. Uh, worked really, really well last time, so I'm looking forward to producing those for you. If you like what we've done, uh, give me a follow on the social medias. It's at Y2JimBob on Twitter and the Instagram. It's Portrait of a Wrestler everywhere else. And as ever, all the very best.